Hello everyone and welcome to a very exciting unboxing. A few weeks ago I made a little vlog in which I went to Toronto's newest K-pop store called Light Up K. They just recently opened up a physical store in the city and my roommate and I decided to go and give it a little visit. If you want to see all of that and see what I picked up on that day you can go ahead and check out that vlog. I will link it up above. But today I wanted to try out ordering from them online just to see what that experience would be like. First of all, they're a Canadian company. They're from the city here. So there was no customs, which is already amazing. Secondly, they had a, I think it was shipping was free if you spent over $55, which that's two albums in Canadian dollars, at least an album here generally tends to be between, well, like I was gonna say 25, but like 25 if you're lucky, I would say between 25 and $35. That's where an album price usually sits in Canadian dollars. So if you're buying two albums, you're probably gonna hit that 50 or $55, whatever it was to get free shipping. So basically I paid for the albums themselves the way I would have paid for them in store without any other extra fees, which is just like, game changing <laughs> for us here in Canada at least. Albums can be so expensive and shipping can be so expensive. And as I mentioned in that vlog, the prices there are so much better than I've seen in Canada for the most part. There are other K-pop stores in the area. A lot of them don't really ship online. You can't shop online. Um, and the prices here are just like, just better. I don't know. <laughs> They're just better. So anyways, I'm very excited to open this package with you guys today to show you the three albums that I purchased. They wrote my name on the box, which is so cute. I'm sure they do that for everyone. They don't know who I am, but like, I just thought that was so cute. And if they do do that for everyone, like that's amazing. I saw on their Instagram stories the other day that they shipped out, like it looked like it was about a hundred packages, if not more. So if they do that for everyone, like can I cry? Anyway, let's open this. All right, we have my little carrot knife and we're just gonna slice this. I probably should have sliced, sliced it from the bottom since I put these sticky notes here, but it worked. We're fine. Here we go. I'm very excited. There's some exciting albums in here. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that might have been a poster and I may have sliced it. I typically don't care for posters, but there was no option that I could see at least to not include them. I'm sure there's like a notes section. And if I really wanted to um, ask for no posters, I'm sure I could. I don't know if I should go through these now or show you the albums first, because <laughs> these might ruin obviously what albums we got. So let's do that. There's a lot of bubble wrap. I'm trying to give like, I'm just gonna put this box on top of here trying to give a proper review of their packaging so far everything looks great i didn't realize the three albums i bought were going to be so close in size so that's perfect so let's just get this out of the bubble wrap it looks very securely wrapped and taped that was one round of bubble wrap All right, and there we have it. So as you can see right on top, we have One Us's newest mini album, Malice. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is the only version I wanted to get. Oh, oh, oh okay, we'll save that. <laughs> um, this is the only version of the album I wanted to get. As you know, I have cut back on my One Us collection a little bit, and this is the one that closely follows the size and packaging of the other ones that I have. So this was perfect for me. Let's talk about the track list. No, actually, no, let's not. Let's wait until I do the unboxing. But as you can see here, we got a little sticker. I'm gonna save that since this is what's next. We have only one of Junji's solo release. Oh, there he is on the back. So my initial intention was to only get KB's, but then I really loved Yoo Jung, so I bought his, and then KB was next, so I bought his, and I was like, you know what? We're just gonna buy them all because I think they're gonna make a rainbow and I'm very excited about it. So got Junji's, very excited to open that up. But the one that I was the most excited for was Key's new album, the VHS version, AKA the coolest packaging I have ever seen. And I did not expect anything less from Key. We learned that from his previous release that his packaging is superior. And it looks like we got this little, is this, it's not, it's a sticker, it's a little sticker set. Like, oh my God, it's so tiny. 
I don't know if this is a freebie from the store or if this is like a freebie that wherever they like sourced the albums from they were given I don't know but I love these stickers these are going right in my bullet journal oh my god I love it okay so before we open these I guess we'll look at these posters I'm not gonna be able to fit them on camera at all they're massive um but yeah like I said I don't really do posters so here we go we have this giant one us one not really gonna fit I apologize but there is that and then this one seems pretty big too I think this might be G. it's very purple yeah Ooh. here we go oh my gosh if you have not uh been following the singles and solos that have been coming out from only one of highly recommend that you do so junji's was great i'm assuming ria will be next but they haven't announced it yet at the time of me filming this at least and then we have key and i feel like either this is massive i'm gonna have to do this off camera either this is massive or there's two. Oh no it's huge oh this is like a movie theater size poster like 24 by 36 probably inches I can't put it on camera like I literally here's a corner like <laughs> it's huge like absolutely <laughs> massive anyway that's all I can show you but holy shit I've never seen a poster so big in my life but honestly it's pretty cool I'm moving soon breaking news um and I really feel like I could frame that and it because it just looks like an 80s movie cut like poster oh my god I love it all right well next up let's start unboxing things i think i'm going to start with junji's because i know it'll be a quicker one so let's do that like i said the song amazing the other solo songs that have come out amazing if you aren't following them you must please at least watch the music videos for this series because they're all kind of connecting and telling a story and it's just so great i love it but yes so junji's is this nice purple color Yoo Jung's was yellow and KB's was green. So methinks we're getting a rainbow, but ooh, I apologize, hit the tripod. Let's get my photo card out. I think that's just the one because I did not pre-order this album. Um, I pre-ordered KB's from K-Town For You just because I like to get K-Town For You pre-order benefits, but for KB. But here we go. I'm not gonna do actually a full flip through just because we have a lot to go through here today, but here is the photo book stunning stunning very stunning very cute so there is that the sweater is so big <laughs> it's getting in my way but let's look at the photo card that we have here we obviously know it's going to be Junji. i didn't even see like a template of what his cards look like for kb and yu jung i both got uh, a shirtless <laughs> ish photo card for both of them will it happen again i don't know if Junji even had any but I mean no but close <laughs> it works i love it it's so cute i love this card he's beautiful so very happy to have that as each album only comes with one photo card i'll just be collecting one per member since i'm buying each of their solo releases so anyways there's that i'm gonna move that off to the side so we have more room i'm actually gonna move key as well for now and we can look at one of us so i think this was called the main version or something shoot it had a the different version names i don't remember i think it was something like that but that's what we're calling it i also love that it's black and white and like marble that's just so my brand and the snake i mean i know it's kind of like garden of eden type thing but i'm a slytherin so when i see snakes i get happy um and then here are the spines and other things here's the track list i didn't well i was gonna say i didn't talk about the track list for junji but it's it's one song so here we go we'll talk about the track list for one us um the title track is amazing but i really love i think it was stupid stupid love i really love that song um but the whole album was like on repeat for me when it first dropped so it, it was a non-skip for me okay we have a few things oh i think this is a member specific thing so i saw a little sliver of a person this is an envelope so we'll look at that after so i guess firstly let's look at the little photo book i don't think photo cards will oh there's a postcard there there's definitely some things in here i thought they would be in that little envelope so it doesn't look like they're um photo cards though just other inclusions oh the photo cards are right there okay hiding those cool so here it is this feels smaller maybe than their other albums but maybe it's not 
it just feels a lot more compact but here's a little flip through love it oh it smells very good very good i love smelling like new books and things like that anyway let's start i guess with some of these larger inclusions that are over here there's a lot of stuff that came in this album damn okay so here are some of the larger inclusions looks like we have a bookmark some just very concept heavy is that the right word i don't know there's no like member specific or anything it's just the concept of the snake and the tree and the garden of eden the apple all that fun stuff so there's that and then we have fragrance it looks like it could be like a what's it called like a car freshener but does this actually smell let's see oh oh it smells like perfume but i don't like it <laughs> what does it smell like i don't know how to explain that smell um it's not bad it's just not like my jam but oh it's reminding me of something and i can't figure it out that's gonna drive me crazy but we're gonna keep it in here so the scent can stay as long as possible but interesting i wonder if there was like a meaning behind providing like a fragrance like oh scent i'm so stupid duh okay well oh all i can smell it's like in my nose now okay next we have this postcard i don't know if it's member specific because i think this one was Oh, it is. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I think from the mouth it looks like Xion, but let's see. I think you're supposed to like apply a heat and then it like reveals the person, right? Let's see. Maybe I need my whole hand. That might be better. Yeah, so there we go. Very cool. I know um, Purple Kiss had something very similar in their one of their recent albums as well. So that's really cool. I love the, the tech involved there, but yes, we did get Xion. So there he is, super cute. And then, like I said, I believe this is also member specific. And, oh, we got Saho, super beautiful. I don't collect like larger inclusions like this anymore. So I'm happy to keep both of these. They're beautiful. I love this. He's back to normal, kind of cool. It's like magic. Okay, we're gonna look at this before we look at the photo cards. So, looks like we just have like a um, accordion style booklet with the track list, maybe some lyrics. I don't really, I don't think so. I think it's just postcards. So here we go, we'll start over here. We can look at all the members. Cool, and then let's fold it and we can look at the other side. Oh yeah, it is a lyric book. We, oh, we cute love that i don't know if it needed to come in like a whole envelope but that's cool i might put the other larger inclusions in here with that afterwards because i feel like they'll stay safer in there okay now let's look at the photo cards and member specific pulls there's like an apple looking thing here so let's look at that who do we have who do we have oh and we got raven super pretty i think i saw katie pulled huanung and i don't know if i care to trade for these but i mean like i'll ask her <laughs> so there's that and then okay there's three photo cards here um that's exciting so here's the first one and we got ooh, we got connie and he looks so good love that card so there is that and then this one has a signature on the back. I saw who it was, so I'm going to hide it from you. And we got Saho. Super pretty. Look at that. And then there is his signature. I could recognize that signature instantly. Um, and then we have this. Is this? What is this? Oh, it's in, in a, what's it called? AR card. That's cool. Um, I don't know what app I need to use to make it work, but I'll figure it out. And we go, oh, we got Huanung, who is my bias. Oh my gosh. And this is like the cutest card. I saw somebody else pull this, I think, or I saw it on Twitter. I don't know, but I was like, I want that one the most. And here he is. I never pull Huanung, like never. So that's exciting. Obviously he didn't show up anywhere else, but that's fine by me. Um, I'll probably put these two up for trade. I'll message Katie about this one, but yeah, super happy with all of these pulls. And I love the overall aesthetic of this album. So I'm just going to clear this off really quick and then we can look at the key. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the amazing key gasoline 
VHS version album. The poster that I tried to show you earlier was this image, so like having that on a wall super big would be kind of cool. Anyway, here we go. Let's open this up. It comes in this kind of resealable plastic, which is not my favorite, but I'm sure it's because of the the way this album is, it kind of needed to come in plastic like that rather than shrink wrapped. So that's fine. But oh my goodness, here's the front. The spines are red and very VHS like. It's like very hard plastic. Oh, it's so cool. And here's a track list. Literally, kid you not, this album is it's amazing. I don't skip a single song. My favorites, there's too many. I love the title track. I love Villain. I love Guilty Pleasure. I love uh, Greatest of All Time. Oh uh, gosh, I think, was it Delight? There's it, the whole thing. I can't sleep. Like the whole thing is so good, guys. It's so good. So if you have not given this a listen, like, please, 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 please do look at this design. Oh my gosh. I almost kind of want the floppy disc one too, but no, I need to keep it to a minimum. So anyway, let's open this up. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> okay. There's one end. There's the other. Ooh. Now I did watch one unboxing of this. And already, like, I know this is going to be, like, packaging of the year for me. If I had to nitpick, oh, whoa, I just got, like, a whiff of plastic. <laughs> um, but if I had to nitpick on one little thing, if you guys were around in the time of VHS tapes, <laughs> um, there were usually, like, two little clips here, and you would, like, keep, like, a flyer or, like, something, some sort of advertisement, and, like, that would have been perfect to put the little SM ad, like, you know what I mean? Just small little details like that. But anyways, I hit the tripod again. I apologize. Um, I don't know. Okay, there's a lot of pulls and things happening. So we're just going to... Oh, no. Did I edit that out or did you see it? Time will tell. But uh, my photo card, I saw it and it's great. Um, so let's look at this little photo book first. Ooh, it's very um tight and I don't want to crack the spine too much. So I'm hoping you guys can get the general idea of what it looks like in here. But... Oh my god, beautiful. Everything about like the design of like the where the like the the photos are great, but like where the text is, oh yes. It's like every page is designed differently. And just from a graphic designer standpoint, like oh I love it. I love that it's just so well thought out. They did not rush this. At least it doesn't feel like they rushed to this. So there's the photo book. I believe we get another poster here. This one's much smaller than the other one. And it looks like this. I don't know if there were, I think there were random posters. So I think there's other ones that you could get, but this is the one that I got and I love it. So there's that. I actually have the lyric, um, I guess it was a poster that they did the lyrics on for his previous album. And that's on my wall because I thought it looked so cool. Oh no, my CD. Oh no. Okay, well hopefully that stays now. But then we have some postcards. I love this one. I love this concept. So good. It's giving Ghostbusters. So good. This one's giving like Frankenstein. This one, I don't know what it's giving, but I love it. Vampire maybe? I don't know. And this one, uh, I don't know. Danny Phantom. <laughs> Anyways, there's that. And then the CD is so cool. However, it looks like a record. <laughs> which kind of, you know, doesn't fit the VHS. I understand a CD cannot come in a rectangular format, but maybe don't make it look like a record. That's just my opinion. Anyway, next up, we have the SM ad, which I said would have been really cool to have it like in those little clips, you know? Anyway, very cool. There's that. And then we have, okay, so we have a photo card, but then we have this, which I know comes with like, standard photo cards like everyone gets them and then there's another random one in here so i think we're gonna do that should we do that now let's do that now and i know you have to pull this which ugh, i hate having to do that but what can you do so let's pull it there we go so it says collector cards which i think is kind of cool kind of fits back into that old 80s vibe here we go so we have a whole bunch of concept ones first so we have this one and then this one and then this one, and then this one, and then we have this selfie, which I know, like I said, there were some random selfies that you could get in here. I don't know how many different ones there were, but um, if I can find that information, 
I will leave it on the screen, but there is the first selfie. And then we have, what does the back of this look like actually? So the back of that one looks like this. And I think all of these, are these all the same? Yes, probably. Yes, so these ones are all the same. And then the random one, random selfie ones look like that. And then this one actually has like the signature, like your standard photo card. And this is what I got. And oh my God, I love it. I didn't care which one I got, to be honest with you. All of his cards are great, but I love this one. So very happy with that. And oh my God, this album, just so amazing. Anyways, let me bring everything I got back into frame and we can do a quick outro. I just realized a piece of my thing is broken. It popped off from over here. So I think it's supposed to like hold the album or the photo book in place. I'm not too mad about it, but just wanted to point out that it might be easily breakable, so be careful. I don't think I broke it, but just to keep that in mind. There we have it. That was all of the albums that I got from my Light Up K order. As I've mentioned in my previous vlog, and as I will continue to mention, I think this shop is amazing. And if you live in Canada, it is super beneficial for you. So I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out their website. I will have it all linked down below. Um, but yes, it's just kind of like, groundbreaking for us here i love it so much they were so quick to ship everything out all of these had a different release date but this i think this was the last one and as soon as it was like available the whole package shipped it took two days to get to me but like i said we're both we're both in toronto so like yeah that makes sense but yeah oh my god i'm just so happy with the experience with all of the albums that i got with all of my pulls like everything is just amazing today's a good day so anyways uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more in the future. I'm always doing unboxings and other fun videos. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.